So last six days I have been trying to incorporate a new habit in my life, which is skipping lunch. But the thing is, what's the purpose? Why uh, I would skip lunch? Well, I'm glad that you asked that question. The first reason I wanted to have only two big meals a day, breakfast and dinner. And it's winter, so I use half an hour of my break to, you know, pray at my workplace, so which is convenient, I don't have to work extra hours. But before going into the whole experience, I want to tell you something about uh, diet, health and obesity and how all this actually related. Because we are living in a world now where the narrative is about feeding us more. Everything needs to be oversized. Five chicken wings is three euros, but 10 is five. Hell is, but eat more. Everything is made so convenient for us. You know, you want to eat something, it's just on the tip of your finger. You go to a store, you go to a, you know, grocery store, and there is always this psychological manipulation just so you can buy stuff that you don't need, you know? For every meal, we want different dishes. We want side dish, we want the starter, we want something sweet, you know? This whole culture of we want to eat more, feed us more. And at the end of the day, you can only eat so much, you know? We get so much more than we can consume. And the rest ends up in the waste. And it's particularly, you know, very prevalent in high-income countries. According to WHO, at least 2.8 million people dying each year as a result of being overweight or obese. And another thing is, it doesn't mean, oh, obese means someone is just fat. Well, not really. Just look at how many deadly diseases are related to being overweight. Look through the correlation studies. You will get a real picture how dangerous is being obese and how many diseases, you know, are related to being overweight. So I was, you know, going through all this data and statistics and, you know, I was thinking to myself that how was our, you know, pious pastors ate? What was their, you know, uh, food habit was like? Hassan al-Basri once said, by he in whose hand is my soul. I have lived amongst people who never ordered food to be prepared for themselves. If the food was presented to them, he would eat. Otherwise, he would be silent and he would not care if it was hot or cold. Fudail ibn Iyad uh, said, two things harden the heart, too much talking and too much food. Uh, Malik bin Dina rahimahullah, said, it is unfitting for a believer that his belly becomes his greatest concern or that his desire dominate him. Malik bin Dina rahimahullah, also said, whoever controls his belly controls all good deeds. Just by going through all these sayings, you can sort of feel uh, what's the position of, of the Salaf uh, on overeating, you know. They wouldn't eat unless they are hungry. And on the other hand, uh, a lot of the companions and, the, and our prize priests didn't have that luxury to have three meals a day. And those who actually had that opportunity, you know, never ate up to their full. So this is the issue here. It's not about whether you were eating organic or GMO food or anything else, uh, processed food. It's about the portion, how much you were eating, you know. So to be honest, it was a pretty cool experiment, first of all, because, you know, growing up, uh, having breakfast, having lunch, having dinner, uh, it, it is, it's a normal thing in our society, right? And suddenly when you um, kind of cut it out of your diet, it takes a bit of time just to get accustomed uh, with the whole system. But the thing is like, we obviously have a Ramadan, Alhamdulillah, so it's not really that tough. But I think the most difficult part of the whole experiment was, uh, you know, sometimes when I didn't have breakfast and at the same time I wouldn't have lunch either. So that was a bit uh, tough, but it's very surprising 
Wallah, it is so surprising and you will be amazed uh, that um, how far a human body can go uh, without food. SubhanAllah. Okay, today not really a great day. Woke up a bit late, couldn't have breakfast. I might as well fast today. Um, yeah, but it's 8 o'clock. Look at this winter melancholy in Germany. Just take a look. You see? No sun. It's 8.05. And it will be like this for the next three months at least. Yep. The thing is, in a normal day, I would have a pretty big breakfast. And uh, then at work, uh, during these eight hours, eight and a half hours, probably I would have coffee, uh, water, some basic snacks or, you know, one banana or one apple, that's it, you know. And by the time I get home, I, I, I would be like really hungry. So I would have my dinner around 7, 6.37. And yeah, that's, that's the whole meal plan, <laughs> you know, breakfast, a bit of snack and dinner that's it and voila this made my whole dietary uh, habit so simple I have to cook less I don't have to worry about uh, what I'm gonna bring to the work what am I gonna work you know eat at work uh, you know it just it just so it's just so satisfying that you don't have to worry about what are you going to take to work next day I'm telling you those who are working, they will understand. Another thing is in terms in terms of weight loss, weight gain, nothing changed. Uh, it's pretty similar. Uh, I have been a very skinny guy from the very get go, from very early on. Uh, so I think it's also kind of in my genetics. Uh, I don't know, lower. Uh, even if I eat more, I don't really gain that much weight. Uh, so yeah, Alhamdulillah. Uh, but I, I wouldn't like go overboard when I'm like having dinner or you know, I would always have uh, less I, I always have alhamdulillah, uh, you know, uh, protein rich dinner, you know uh, Less oil, no sugar uh, Less carbohydrate those kind of stuff. So alhamdulillah, it's good um, And you know there will be also occasions where I cook something really good then I would eat a bit more um, for instance biryani and stuff uh, but even even then I would I would this this hadith really helps me where uh, our Prophet says that uh, a Muslim eats with one uh, stomach but uh, a disbeliever uh, or a hypocrite uh, eats with seven you know eats with seven stomach so that had it always uh, running back in my head, Alhamdulillah. So yeah, I'm really tr controlling, you know, this overeating tendency. It's very disliked in our religion. The son of Adam uh, uh, haven't, you know, uh, filled the vessel uh, uh, worse than his own stomach, right? So this is the hack, guys. If you can implement this, Alhamdulillah, everything will be all right. You won't have to worry about gaining weight, losing weight, you know, being obese, uh, type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, those kind of stuff. Don't eat unless you are hungry. And even when you are hungry, don't eat up to your fill. That's basically the principle. <laughs> As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَكُولُ وَشَبُوا وَلَمْ تُسْرِفُوا إِنَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الْمُسْرِفِينَ That eat and drink but don't be extravagant uh, Allah doesn't love those who are extravagant Barakallahu feek wa jazakumullahu khairan wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh